happy birthday to me. <laughs> Today is Saturday, January 7th, and it is my 50th birthday. I'm not sure why that just made me want to cry. <laughs> um, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, being 50 years old is a blessing. I sure think that life is better at 50 than it was at 25. <laughs> and, um, wow, just so much to unpack from that. But anyways, hello. <laughs> Share my birthday with me. Nothing too exciting going on. I just had the best massage ever. <sighs> Fred had um, bought me a massage for my birthday and um, I just went and had it. It's this little place that just opened. I didn't even know that they existed and they did such a really, why is there a shadow on my face? Anyways, it was this little place that I didn't even know existed. They just opened up. She said they've been open for a month, but they did such a good job. So I had an hour massage. Now I'm so relaxed. I feel zened out and like I'm glowing. I just went by Big B and got myself a coffee. I like a hot spotted owl from there. Do you guys have Big B by where you are? I like them better than Starbucks. Anyways, and then I came home to see that I have a lot of packages by my door. What's up with that? So I can see that one of them is from Allison, my best friend in Dayton. I don't know if you could see that, but it says soapy. To Soapy Himes. It's a long story, but that's our nickname for each other. So I know that's from Allison. And greeting card collection. I think that's from my boss. Oh, another one from Soapy. Oh, she she hooked it up today. We got a box too. Hey girl, hey, let's see what we got. Let's open gifts. So Maddie and the girls FaceTimed me this morning and <laughs> I think they're the ones that ended up with the birthday surprise <laughs> because um, TMI but I sleep naked and so they called me and I was awake but I wasn't out of bed yet so I like got up and put the light on so they could see me and I went to put my nightgown on and you know I was holding the camera way up here and she's like um you're standing in front of a mirror naked lady and I'm like <laughs> I'm like well we're all girls here she's like Robbie's over there too I'm like well give me a second let me put some clothes on <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> oh that's funny So they're supposed to come over later and uh, bring me a cake or something. Ooh, what'd she get me? Aroma Flare. Home fragrance, so it's a candle, but what kind? It's called Breath. Let's see what it smells like. It's a pretty box. Nice. Sweet orange and sandalwood. Ooh, that sounds like a bit of me for sure. Oh, that smells so good. Take a deep breath. Sweet orange and sandalwood. I can't wait to burn that. That smells, I don't know if you could see that. I love it. Badass affirmations. Awesome. Okay, Spomi, lead me to the right page for me today. I'm just going to pick a random page. Elegance is the only beauty that never fades. Amen. Character isn't inherited. One builds it daily by the way one thinks and acts. Thought by thought, action by action, if one lets fear or hate or anger take possession of the mind, they become self-forged chains. Deep but true. Beauty is when you can appreciate yourself. When you love yourself, that's when you're most beautiful. Okay, Zoe Kravitz, yes. 
I take care of myself. I am perfect in my imperfection and I like my body. That was the perfect one for today. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Oh, what's this? see what it is. I don't know. Ooh, it's a bracelet. It's a, oh, it has a little heart. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's hard to get this thing to focus on little stuff. Anyways, it has a little heart there. And on the inside, on the inside it has a saying too, and it says, you are my favorite bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you are my favorite bitch to bitch about bitches with. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I love her. I'm not normally a silver person, but for her, I will be a silver person. Boop. Thanks, Soapy. Is there a note in this one? Happy, happy birthday to my favorite soap in the world. I love you from Alice Soap. Aww. Best friends forever. Don't ask what soap is about. It's a long story. It won't make sense. You had to be there. <laughs> but needless to say, we have been soaps since, Lord have mercy, 1986. Recently, when I went to Columbus to see her in Maribel, um, on my Ikea vlog a couple weeks ago or maybe a month ago, I, oh, I took them their Christmas gifts and on her card I had written Allison. <laughs> she was visibly shaken by that. She was just like, have I done something to upset you? And I'm like, no, why? She's like, cause you wrote Allison on my card. <laughs> like, it doesn't say soap or Alice soap. Like, are we okay? And I'm like, girl, I just thought maybe like we're grown. She's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. Aw. Best birthday ever. I have to tell you, last night, um, I was making a conscious choice to not be hurt or salty. When I went to bed, because normally a more unhealed version of myself would feel some type of way about it being midnight and nobody calling or texting me to tell me happy birthday. Cause I'm the person who I'm waiting up until midnight if I love you and I'm calling you at midnight to tell you happy birthday because you mean that much to me. And normally my kids do too. And like nobody called last night. And I could feel myself getting a little like sad about that or like, hmm, interesting. And then I was like, release people from expectations. Maybe I, I hope that they're sleeping so soundly right now that they weren't able to call you because they had a wonderful day and they're tired. I hope they're getting the best sleep ever. Happy birthday to me. Let's go to bed. <laughs> and I did. And um, the, this morning, I've just been flooded with love. Amelia hasn't called me yet because she's probably still sleeping. She's always been a person who sleeps all day, but, um, or sleeps late, I should say. But especially now that she's pregnant, I bet she's tired. So, how pregnant is she now? I think today she's 11 weeks, maybe? I know they just shifted her due date a couple of days, so I'm not sure if it still falls on the same day of the week. With her old due date, she would have been 11 weeks today. But with her new due date, it's probably shifted just a little bit. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, I'm, I know it shifted a little bit, to clarify. I'm not sure when it shifted to. I'd have to get a calendar out and look. Her new due date is August 4th. So, we'll see. Anyways, I have been so flooded with love. And, um, gratitude. 
humbling, humbling gratitude is where I'm at right now. It's very humbled gratitude. So there's an old album, an old, it's a Christian album by a band, a group, a husband and wife duo. I think it was called Watermark. And back in, when did that album come out? 90s, early 2000s, early 2000s maybe? Anyways, that album was one of the most precious albums to me. Um, Watermark has a song called Who Am I? And um, like I used to just listen to that album on a loop. It was just so tender and precious to me. And it helped me through so many dark times. And I had forgotten about it, honestly, for like a decade. Because I had forgotten about it for the longest time. Because, you know, I mean, I haven't been a Christian for a minute. And then on my trip home from Columbus recently, when I just had, I just put my music on shuffle and just let it go. And I heard songs I hadn't heard of in 15 years. But one of those songs came on and I instantly burst into tears. And my heart just exploded like, oh. Hello, old friend. So anyway, it's today. Today as I'm thinking about all the love that I'm getting and like I just said, humbled gratitude, that song plays in my head. Um, I can't play it on here or they'll like copyright it, but you can always go look it up. It's called Who Am I by Watermark and um, it just talks about, you know, who am I that you would love me so deeply? Who am I that you would recognize my name? <laughs> to all of you who have told me happy birthday, and to everyone in my life who has told me happy birthday, I'm grateful because you're all so special. Everyone is so special. Everyone has busy lives. Everyone is going through something. Everyone, you know, who am I that you would care enough to take even a few minutes of your day to send me love and good wishes? I'm so grateful. I, I see your love, I accept your love, and know that it has landed on my heart. <laughs> or something a two put in as something put through it. You see, that's why it's for emergencies. There is some plan. Well, hello. Hi, Hi. happy 50th Hi. birthday. Thank you. Love, Love you. you. Look at all this family Hi. everywhere. Happy How birthday, you? mom. By yourself? <laughs> uh, he's coaching. He uh, coaches uh, swim, so oh, okay. he's, he's off coaching. Hello. <laughs> I didn't expect these. People to show up at my door. It's awesome. I know. I got covered in frosting. Oh. Okay, over here. Yeah. We're getting there. I'm struggling with the candles. Hi, baby. You look so pretty. Mom, let me record. So here it goes. That's okay. You look pretty. Yeah. You're all natural and pretty. All right, let's see. How many should we put? Just one in each corner? 50! 50! <laughs> Just put however many you want. Whatever feels good. Do you have a lighter? Um, I might have one in my... No, not that coat. Nope. You know how that coat does it? It's mom's. It's on the printer. What'd you say? Yeah. I said that's pretty neat. It's pretty neat, huh? We'll we'll how on. do you focus it, mom? It should auto-focus. It's not. I didn't know you was making Tap it. Tap on the screen. Is it got it. I got it. All right. Lighting candles. Ooh, yes. Happy birthday, Veronica, a.k.a. Mommy. 50. I don't know. What do you think that makes me feel? Girl. <laughs> How? You guys are old. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tell him again. No, I'm just joking. Oh, I know. At least your baby's still in her 20, you know? Oh. Well, I feel like your baby is still in her 20s. All right, last candle's lit. You guys ready? 
Yay. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Good job. You did amazing. You did too. Oh, oh did these come back? Yeah, they're supposed to just be like sprinklers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't blow I didn't oh blow my god. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. That's okay. And they're back. Take them out and throw them in the sink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know they were practicals. <sighs> Not this one. They're like, we believe in reincarnation up in here. Coming. Got it. Yay. Yay. Hi, Aunt. Thank you guys. Oh Open my gosh. Back. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. Got it. Aunt Emmy's a party pooper. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Love you too, honey. Thank you. Love you. What? Bye, Court. Love you. Bye. Some people have trouble with the idea of turning 50, but not me. I think that turning 50 is a blessing. I think that the best is yet to come. And I'm proud of the woman that I am and the age that I am and the gray hairs on my head. All in all, this was a wonderful day, full of love, full of family, full of celebration, full of honoring my body and self-care. I look forward to not only the year that is to come, but the next decade, the next two decades, the next 30 years, I look forward to the rest of the journey. The first act has concluded and the second has begun and I think that this is the fun part and I look forward to see where it goes. Thank you for sharing my birthday with me. Until next time.